We're here today on uh, just about to get some money out to get the costume for the world acclaimed modern cowboys shoot. We're uh, here today, it's fantastic weather for the start of the film. Of course Edward's there just uh, getting some money out. You're getting some money out for the bling? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a good shoot brother. We got the cash. Let's go and get the costumes. Let's look at the cash. Look at that. It's the cash. <laughs> Is it three yet? I hope it's not shot. Look at this. Yes. Just keep it down. There. Got some neighbors. Cuss it. Got some guest rounds. Morning. Carry on. Cheers. This is Edward's costume. And that's mine. Garth and Rusty. Hats. Hats. Boots. There's a snake in my boot. Do you like any cowboy films? Maybe. Clint Eastwood. Uh, yeah. All those, yeah. Million Dollar Baby. Clint Eastwood. It's not a cowboy film. <laughs> <laughs> Guns. <laughs> Not real. No. Legal reasons. Can I put guns in there? I don't know. Um, it's written on the. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's quite realistic guns. Metal. Right. Oh. All yours. All right, all mine. Well, I'll bring it back in two weeks. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, it. <laughs> I'm not carrying it all, brother. <laughs> Oh. Just because you got a camera doesn't get you out of life. Yeah. Thank you. See All right, you thanks for that. Well. Yeah, thank you. Might get a sword. Not really cowboy swords. Mm. I feel like I'm in Hollywood. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but these things are like uh, theatre, you know, in dressing rooms. Get these. You mean like costumes? Costume. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the plastic. These. Well, it's going to be a good shoot, hopefully, but I'll see you later. The costume's very important, but as soon as we got the costume, I was in character. Well, my segment took uh, the best of two days, hours, but, uh,. <laughs> You see, the um, it was quite a tricky script. <laughs> Two days. Took three fully fledged days. <laughs> but it was interesting. I only had to write like the first part, so I had all the uh, exposition. But by the time I'd finished, uh, by the time I'd explained the plot, I just handed it over to Ed. Scout. Um, possibly yeah. down there, I don't know. Did it go down there? There. Still a fight. Possibly. It looks like it's down in a marsh somewhere. Well, I spent three weeks wearing my costume. I slept in my costume like roughnecks would do back in the era. I uh, spent 12 days researching the uh, village where it's set. And, uh... Whoa. No. <laughs> I've worked with Liam Mitchell uh, several times before on the stage, never on film. It must be nice. It is nice. He's what was he like between takes? Is he like they say he is? He's a hell of a guy. What in the hell made you cast Carl Becker? <laughs> I've worked with Carl before, he's a very quiet man. <laughs> <laughs> Carl? Well, you know. It's better than. Chris? <laughs> Technically Chris should be in the scene, yet can't see us bringing him back. We fired him, didn't we? Oh yeah, we fired him. Yes, Chris Malone, uh, yes. Uh, do you think I look like him? Yes, 
I mean, that's how we first thought. I mean, we thought, oh, look at you in the mirror, look at me in the mirror. We look both look the same. Are we brothers? And then we decided, yes, we could possibly be brothers. Fairly shoddy in his acting. Uh, we can only hope he gets better. In this film, he is... He suddenly got something about him. Bread. Bread. It's sweet bread, though. Okay, it's recording. Uh, first line. Okay. Thank you, Professor. We're all aware of the town's history. Okay, say it as if it's kind of um, <coughs> condescending to him. So this is this is before I've told him where to go. Yeah, this is right at okay. start. I think it's about time I went and did a diving roll. Gert was a character which we uh, added in afterwards, soon as the Sarah Brown could not make the film. So you've uh, just finished the uh, yeah, final day. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs>